All right, what's up guys? It is Josh back with another video and today's video It's gonna be a bit of a tutorial if you guys don't know I edit all my videos myself and today I'm gonna be showing you how you could be doing it as well It's super simple I'm gonna be going over the absolute beginner basics to actually editing your own YouTube videos And I feel that this video itself will save you a lot of time and money I feel like a common misconception nowadays in terms of doing YouTube is that you have to hire an editor to do your videos And that's definitely not the case and I'm gonna be showing you why in this video But as always all support is appreciated make sure to like comment subscribe we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers so make sure to help me out and uh, yeah with that being said I'll see you guys on my PC all right guys so the editing software that I personally use is DaVinci Resolve and I familiarized myself with it a lot over the last uh, three years that's how long I've been editing my own YouTube videos on this um, so what I'm gonna do is once you have the software open I'm gonna have a download link down in the description for you guys to uh, download it for yourself I'm gonna go down here to new project and I'm just gonna title it something like I don't know, editing tutorial put a random number because I probably have one called editing tutorial and this will actually take you inside of the software right here the great thing about davinci resolve is it's extremely beginner oriented and everything's kind of presented in a way that's really um, beginner friendly and kind of approachable so by default davinci resolve normally takes you into the cut tab but we want to actually go into the edit tab because that is what you want to do everything inside of and you might have your davinci resolve open up like this it might look a different bit different than my screen if it was like this or something like that um but the first thing you want to do you might not even have your inspector open the three things you want to open are your media pool your effects library and your inspector so your screen should look something like this maybe slightly down I don't know but let me quickly explain what every component is so the media pool is where you're gonna put your clips your audio every single asset that you're gonna include in the video just to kind of easily drag and drop into the timeline the effects library is gonna be for adding effects and transitions onto your clip through DaVinci Resolve and then your inspector is gonna be for adjusting um, the small details such as the size the position um, different effects on your text such as drop shadow stroke all that stuff so pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you the basics of how you can kind of get started from the ground up almost and edit your own video for the first time so what I'm gonna do is get some sort of footage that we've recorded so for me that's gonna be you know some sort of YouTube intro that I did right here and before you put anything in the timeline it's very important to make sure you have your project settings set so you go to file project settings frame rate to 60 down here and then you can make your resolution 1920 by 1080 that's probably what most videos are gonna be recorded in anyway so it doesn't really matter then we're gonna press save and then press change on our frame rate and just like that we're good to go to start editing so the first thing we're gonna do so the first thing we're gonna do in terms of editing is we're gonna drag the clip into the timeline right here and normally the first thing that people will do when they edit a video is they'll fade it in and they'll fade it out so that'll See, look start. something like that where it fades in terms of opacity videos so you've started to edit your very own YouTube channels and this is easily done by just dragging this white dot on the le top left corner of the clip inwards just like this so you started and the duration that you put the white point at is how long the fade will be so you, so you can make it shorter or longer depending on however you would like your video to look and that's pretty much the basics in terms of fading in and out the next thing I'm gonna be covering is things such as cutting and how to just rearrange your clips so all you got to do to access the uh, blade tool is press B on your keyboard and click anywhere on the video and audio that you want deleted. I normally do this during gaps in my speech. Um, so then what I'll do is you could either click on it, then delete it, and then drag this over. Or a cool shortcut that you guys can learn right off the bat that'll save you tons of time is click on it, press shift and delete at the same time. And you can do that for every single gap right here. So you've started to and edit it your automatically, so you, you know, rearranges it in a way that kind of is compressed together without the gaps. And you can also manually trim stuff down by just holding on the edge of the clip and dragging it inwards. I just use the blade tool because it's a lot easier to use and it's kind of more precise. So yeah, that's pretty much an explanation for that. So I'm going to be covering three main things inside of the uh, effects library right here now. So I'm going to be covering the text feature and then I'm going to be covering adjustment layers and then I'm going to be covering transitions. So the first thing is the text. You can just come over here to titles, drag over a text and you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You edit it to say whatever you say, like what's up and you can change it to whatever you, whatever font you want on your PC, you know, just literally whatever you want. So a font that I normally use for my videos for subtitles is Hanson. I use it in my thumbnails as well. And if you want to add drop shadow, you can come down here to the effects like I was mentioning before. You can also add a stroke, which is just like an outline around the text. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the text. And then in order to move it around, you can just come down here, change the zoom, change the positioning, change the rotation. A lot of flexibility in terms of that 
Um, text is probably one of the easiest things you could do in the software. There's also different alignment options. Just comes down to personal preference in terms of how you want to use it. So that is how you use text. The next thing is going to be adjustment clips. So let me explain this in a way that makes sense. If you come down here to effects, drag over an adjustment clip. An adjustment clip is a way to add an effect to kind of an overlay that'll last the duration of however long you set the adjustment clip. I know that was a lot of words in a short period of time, but I promise you it makes sense if you think about it. So for example, if I were to apply a glow effect, let's say, and if I applied this glow effect to, you know, this clip and this clip, you know, individually, it's kind of tedious. I'm adding multiple you know, of the same effect to different clips versus if I just drag an adjustment layer over the two of them, drag an adjustment clip on the adjustment layer, it'll last the entire duration. And if I wanted to even extend it further, I could drag it. And then that adds the glow to, you know, the duration because at this point it goes away. It's really good, especially if you want it to last a specified duration and be able to control that easily. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can use adjustment clips. The next thing, transitions. Transitions are super, super easy or could not be easier instead of DaVinci Resolve. You just come down here to video transitions and you just drag it on like it's it's really that simple um and then you could just adjust the duration so you, you start know, cross dissolves here so it's kind of hard to tell and then we got ones like slide these are super basic Engagement. ones so that i wouldn't really recommend using in your youtube videos um some more practical ones are like these rotate ones so you start they're pretty good Engagement. so you start and yeah that's just pretty much how you drag a transition on just between any two clips and it'll apply pre-made uh, transition. So that's a really cool option. The next thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is adjust video settings as well as audio settings. So for the videos, all you got to do, you literally just come over here to transform after clicking on the clip that you want to adjust. And you know, there's video and there's audio. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Zoom controls the zoom of the video. You can change the position of the video, both X and Y. Rotation, it's pretty much the same as the text. You can change the anchor point, that's for effects. You could even crop it down if you wanted to and make it, you know, smaller. And then for audio, what you can do is you can actually adjust the volume just like this manually. And we can see the volume level down here get bigger and smaller whenever we adjust the volume. So that's really cool. And then we can also pan it to go from your left ear to your right ear, something like that, if there's imbalance in the recording itself. So that's a really cool way to manually adjust that. And then lastly, pretty much what you are going to want to do if you wanna add some sort of music and you have music downloaded to your computer, all you gotta do is drag it in. It's the same thing. You just add it as a secondary layer. You can cut it down to the duration or drag it down. Fade it in the same as we fade our videos so you in. You started to edit. You can fade it out the same way we faded our videos out. And then obviously you can manually adjust the volume You're very to make it quieter, which is really cool. But yeah, other than that, the effects library contains a bunch of random things such as sol solid color stuff, just different overlays, audio effects. So you can add like reverb and, you know, bass enhancer. And there's just a lot of really cool things you can do inside of DaVinci Resolve also, such as color grading, advanced keyframing for your effects, just various different things. It, it just all comes down to um, the experience of the user. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys want to see an advanced tutorial in terms of different effects and features that you can use after you guys have mastered the basics and you want to learn more leave me a comment down below and uh, i'll be sure to record that video for you guys and post it on the channel in the next couple of weeks but if you guys enjoy obviously like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot closing in on 100k subscribers thank you guys so much for everything you do for me with that being said i will see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out